It's the year 2050, and Tropicana Las Vegas, a double tree by Hilton, is about to take you on a tour of the city once known as Las Vegas. First, we encounter Tropicana Las Vegas in 2013 after its $200 million transformation. Everything was new, from the guest rooms and suites to its acclaimed restaurants, award-winning pool, all new casino and unique event spaces. Its South Beach vibe and extraordinary customer service was something that had never been experienced before on the Strip. But the pioneering history of this resort doesn't end here. There's still much more to explore. Flash back to the days before smartphones and computers, when color picture movies could only be seen at the local cinema. Did you know that the iconic film The Godfather was filmed at Tropicana? Or that the resort was featured in the James Bond movie Diamonds Are Forever? And who could forget seeing Tropicana's long-running Holy Brigier show in the 1964 Elvis Presley classic, Viva Las Vegas? It's time to take a trip downtown to Fremont Street, where the casino industry in Las Vegas started. Fremont is home to Vegas' oldest casino, the Golden Gate, which opened in 1906 as Hotel Nevada. In the years that followed, the legendary street found itself filled with an array of eclectic and talented street performers and, of course, the Fremont Street Experience, which was once a must-see for Vegas tourists with its stunning 1,500-foot LED canopy. Through postcards from long ago, we can see that Las Vegas used to be known for its flashy city lights. And there's no better way to relive those glory days of Sin City than excursion to the Neon Museum. There, you'll encounter more than 150 neon signs that once lit up the infamous strip. Heading southwest into the year 1995, we encounter Taiwanese American developer James Chi Cheng Chen, who opened a strip mall named the Chinatown Plaza on Spring Mountain Road. In October 1999, the area was officially designated as Chinatown by Nevada Governor Kenny Gwynn, and it was common in those days to find a vast collection of pan-Asian restaurants, stores, and events. But it's not just Las Vegas that carries a rich and intriguing history in Southern Nevada. Back in 1931, when the average yearly wage was $1,850, gas was only 10 cents a gallon, and the state of Nevada legalized all forms of gambling, a new and grand structure was taking form in Boulder City. The famous Hoover Dam, constructed between 1931 and 1936, was the largest concrete structure ever built at the time. This majestic construction still today impounds Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States by volume, and some have been known to rent a boat or a jet ski to enjoy the sunshine and a blast from the past. There's just one final stop on our trip down memory lane, a stop that will transport us to Las Vegas in 1959. This was the same year that the 25-foot iconic Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign, designed by Betty Willis, was erected on Las Vegas Boulevard. It's time now to return to the year 2050 at Tropicana Las Vegas, a double tree by Hilton. We hope that you have enjoyed our tour of the city once known as Las Vegas. Although much has changed in the years that have passed, there is one thing that will always remain, this extraordinary resort and casino and its unparalleled customer service. We look forward to seeing you soon.